Hey guys, Toxic Shade here. Uh, we're back with another episode of Let's Play Minecraft Factions. Uh, I'm out here by the border trying to find some bases. Um, came to this edge here. And now there could be land over there. I don't have a very far view distance. If I inch my way over here, you can see it does kick me back. And uh, I believe it's kind of wrapping around that way. If I keep going this way, yeah, see, so I can still progress this way. It is a circle, so as you can see, it kind of kind of wrapped there a little bit. Um, obviously, you know, it should be a pretty straight edge because uh, it is so wide, it's so big. So let's go ahead and move out into the water. <clears throat> And uh, say goodbye to the land. We'll see what happens out here. Um, looks like we have more land. So really what we're trying to find are people that have set bases out by the edge, uh, the new edge. This uh, particular world map um, got smaller. OK, so we should be going this way. Right. So I do see some boats here. Um, I see a bunch of boats. Don't really see anything from here. Let's go ahead and use our trusty F map. Nothing. So up until now, I mean, all I've found, I don't think I've ever f I've found any claimed land other than the Alethia base that I talked about. <clears throat> Move my mic away here a little bit. I think I hear it popping. Um, so other than that, I really haven't found uh, much claimed land. Okay, good. We hit the border here. Should continue to hit the border here. Good. So all I do is I, I kind of run into the border and go in a little bit. Um, you know, however you guys can get to the border, uh, really, you know, you could run out there if you start a faction server and you're, it's a brand new server maybe. Because uh, I started this server shortly after uh, it went live. <clears throat> and this is, of course, Tobuscus, uh, World Buscus server. So, um, you know, you can either run out there yourself. Uh, I started doing that, but I never had to. I, I finally, actually, I lucked out. I ran into somebody that um, they TP'd me out to, like, check out their base. And they were already out here. <laughs> uh, but this time, uh, this is a new uh, TP. I actually TP'd out here. Uh, because of a boathouse that we found. Let me show you that boathouse. It should be sunrise right now. No? Maybe uh, it's the other side, actually. So um, this was actually near another base uh, that I had found. Um, you probably have a claim here. This was a uh, pretty cool spot. Okay, it doesn't look like I can see the sun. So it must be up in the sky already. Yeah, it looks like we missed that. Uh, but yeah, very pretty sunrise, very pretty sunset from here, uh, especially if you have a texture pack going. I'm sure it gets even prettier. But um, we're going to go ahead and make our way down here, maybe take a look at this house. Uh, it has been raided since we moved in. Oh, looks like we lost somebody. Let's see how our power is doing. 343, so we got 23 left. A uh, few of our members are really low power right now. Um, they died a bunch of times doing something or other. I, I don't really know. <clears throat> Anyways, about this place, we uh, planted a ton of trees, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, the other base that I know about is actually an island way out there. And if you look at the Z coordinate here, you can see that we're over 10,000. So we are out by the border. Uh, the X coordinate is actually um, pretty low here. Uh, so if you could, if you can remember, the um, place that we're exploring um, is pretty far away from here, actually. Uh, now this TP, I had actually gotten TP'd to that base, the island that's out there. Uh, not really much left of it. Actually, it might even be right there. Um, but it goes down to a larger base and uh, it has a huge elevator, um, but there's really not much there anymore. Uh, there was an obby box, a couple passageways, but nothing really too crazy going on. Uh, we are kind of um, baiting some enemies. 
I think that by the time I post this video, uh, that will be long done. <laughs> so we're trying to uh, basically get uh, one of our enemy factions to raid this place, <laughs> as weird as that sounds. Um, because, uh, well, we have somebody in their faction who's uh, trying to build their trust. And um, this may be edited out right now, but if it isn't, that means that we were either successful or, uh, or went on to something else. But we're trying to build trust with, uh, with this enemy faction. As you can see, there's a little elevator right here. Leads down to another area. And uh, by building trust, we have um, one of our members in their faction or already. Um, by building their trust and letting them raid this place, um, you know that kind of opens the door to other initiatives in the future. So kind of an interesting uh, way to play at it. Um, this is kind of brought up by one of my members, and uh, I, you know, I'm willing to go with it. I don't really like this group, so. <laughs> Anything we can do uh, sounds great. They are pretty crafty. Um, they're raiders themselves, so you know you got to kind of be crafty in uh, how you get them to give stuff up. Um, so they're not just gonna TP anyone to their base, but you know if you have them raid something and <clears throat> actually come up on some some pretty good stuff in that raid, you're kind of more inclined to trust that person, <laughs> uh, especially depending on you know how this all came about. So they raided through here. And I know I don't know if we're still go for launch on this, <laughs> um, but basically they would have to make a cannon right here, and past this door looks like I have some stone, so that's good. Past this door there is a vault or this wall rather, not a door. <laughs> so we'll check this out. This is kind of uh, dummy loot. Um, it's some pretty good stuff in here. You know, obviously we want to make it seem uh, like it, it might have been stuff that we weren't trying to uh, to lose. Uh, let's see, I didn't pick up the obby, did I? There it is. Okay, well, um, a few gapples in there, a bunch of other stuff. Looks like we just started moving in, right? Because, you know, there's a lot of other chests in here ready to go, you know bunch of armor and stuff looks like a second vault right now but uh, I have to load it with uh, maybe maybe one more um, buskis kit armor <laughs> we'll see uh, right now it just looks like I, I you know a buskis is in here a donator is in here uh, you know it's maybe the second vault for Illuminati probably me um, hard to find obviously because it's behind the stone so uh, yeah that's that um, kind of a dummy vault if you will and um, really just trying to trap that other faction. Um, so anyways, back to uh, exploring the world border here. So we're gonna make our way more this way. I think we'll probably hit the line at some point. Yep, there it is. And we'll check our trusty map. So uh, yeah. Normally I'll uh, listen to some music while I play. Um, let me know what you guys want to hear in the comments. Um, you know, I, I might just play some random dubstep or electronic music, house house music in the background. Uh, you know, something free, <laughs> DRM uh, or you know, copyright safe kind of stuff. But um, you know, I'll have to see what I can do. I listen to a lot of different bands, uh, a lot of different kinds of music. Um, I started off with rock and, and alternative rock, like um, got into Rage Against the Machine <laughs> and uh, some of uh, some of the good alternative groups at that time, and uh, really moved on to hip hop, I guess, in high school, and just love hip hop, I love lyricism. Um, you know, I've been uh, DJing for a really long time, so I also scratch and you know do all kinds of tricks and stuff on turntables. Love that all fun to do <laughs> and um yeah you know i, I really uh, i dig like living legends and hieroglyphics souls of mischief uh, a lot of that old school stuff and um a lot of the newer people too but um not too into to new mainstream rap or hip-hop uh, unfortunately so you won't see me listening to kanye or <laughs> 
or uh, Drake or anyone like that. It's uh, it's more like um, better lyrics, better beats. Uh, I listen to a lot of beat makers, a lot of instrumentalists. Um, and yeah, you know, like Bonobo. I don't know if you guys know Bonobo at all, but definitely check out some of their stuff. It's B-O-N-O-B-O. -O -O. It's a really good, good group. Very cool beats. And um, lots of stuff like that. Uh, I'll have to see about <laughs> trying to add some music somewhere. Um, I also make my own beats and uh, and tracks and scratch beats and songs and stuff like that. Absolutely. Uh, I make videos also on YouTube. And um, if you guys want to see me scratching and, and DJing, you can go check out my other channel. Uh, it's just DJ Gimmicks. So it's like this. Just like that. G-I-M-I-X. Uh, you search for me on YouTube, you will find some uh, scratching and, and other music and stuff. Uh, I have more electronic stuff and house stuff on SoundCloud and MixCloud. So just kind of uh, a little bit of shameless promoting. Uh, I feel like it's definitely in order. Uh, so you guys might might get to know me a little bit better uh, if you want to. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep checking our F map out here. So I love music, um, really all kinds of music. If you guys have some bands that... Um, you want to know if I've listened to or uh, or I should check out? Definitely post them in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear about it. It's probably um, that is really like what I would like to do with my life is is just make music. Um, I have a really good job, and um, you know I <laughs> love where I live right now. I love love what I do, so um, things are working out in that respect. So really, music is just like my uh, what would you call that? Um, it's my release or uh, my escape. Um, you know, I put on those headphones and I get in front of the turntable and pretty much everything else disappears. Uh, all my responsibilities and bills and, you know, commitments, uh, it, it all just, it just goes away. And uh, I just really love listening to music, finding new stuff, uh, you know, mixing it in to, uh, to whatever I'm working on at the time. Uh, I've been super inactive. Uh, I've just been really busy with um, work and stuff. So I, I do want to post more videos of me scratching and that sort of thing. So if you guys like that sort of thing, just let me know. Um, I think the last time I posted a video on YouTube for uh, music stuff was probably at least two years ago. Uh, but my Mixcloud stuff, Soundcloud stuff is a lot more recent. Um, so yeah, this is looking really pretty out here. I like, I like the lay of the land. Um, let's see what biome this is. So that is beach. This is all beach. Um, hmm. <laughs> I said, um, as, uh, as soon as that faction disbanded. Okay. So it looks like we do have a little bit of life going on over here. Just a little cobble, uh, enclosure. Interesting. I don't really see anything else you know i i really want to put on some night vision just because uh it's starting to get dark moon's just coming out and i have the night vision to spare i should really get some um arrows too just because i like shooting them <laughs> for no apparent reason at all uh yeah we're just kind of dumping in here right now this is like the more secure uh vault area at the moment besides my own vault all right uh, that's filled up as much as I can I just want to save all this stuff just in case uh, I meet an early demise and yeah I think we'll go with that uh, let's go back oh I want to put this stone away too stone is very useful and I just as, as much cobble as I have and <laughs> stone I could uh, put it in the furnace and, and make, but um, I just I, I like just finding stone, so I don't have to do all that. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> Very strange. But let's go ahead and pop this night vision. All right, and it is daylight again. So now I want to. Oops, out of cobble. So yeah, we'll just use uh, we'll just use this. We got this. It's just a little efficiency one. Uh, yeah, just a little efficiency one thing. I just found it so. Why not use it? Uh, I think it was just in a raid at some point. So um, I think what I'll do, I'm going to try and get a little higher up. Oh, wow. You really screwed up the textures there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, God. Oh, it looks terrible. 
Oh no, night vision. Why'd you do this to me? <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, this is um, not really supposed to happen. Uh, let me try to reconnect here. <laughs> Hopefully things will be better. Okay, just one guy in there. Oh man. All right. Well, night vision really screwed things up, but at least I can see under uh, the textures a little bit. Uh, it looks kind of barren in there. Like, oh, I do see the lava down there. You see that? See that lava pool? So that means you can kind of see through. There's been cheats in the past to do that. So <laughs> this is kind of working in my favor. Just looking for things that stand out under the water uh, down there pretty much behind the walls. So it looks like there's a big lava river down there, uh, but not much else. I was hoping to stand up on a tower. I like to do this sometimes, right next to the water so I can just jump in when I'm done. Uh, this will probably have mixed results though. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, so I am going a little bit over. I'll probably have to finish in just a few minutes here. Otherwise, the video will be enormous. Wow. Okay, well, I can't see much of anything up here, sadly. Okay, if I look off kilter a little bit, it kind of comes back to normal. And I wish I could just get rid of this potion now. <laughs> this was uh, not the intended effect. <clears throat> All right, well, uh, not seeing much anyway. Just kind of looking in that top right corner. See if that is a structure, but it doesn't look like it. Um, I don't see anything underneath per se either. Although that might be steps down over there. Oh no, it's just a waterfall. Um, all right, well, there's really not much we can do here. So we'll just jump in the water and be on our way. So I'm not sure how to fix the texture. It's kind of a uh, kind of a bummer actually. I guess we go to fast. Here we go. Oh no, not quite at all actually. Uh, okay, let me just take that back real quick. Sunse. Well, where should we go? I can't really see much now. It's really obscuring my view actually. Yeah, uh, this doesn't normally happen. Um, Fear it might have something to do with the video cap software, but uh, anyways, we'll use whatever senses we have to make our way through this maze here. So I see a huge tree over there. So that might be a jungle. Looks like looks like the makings of a jungle, which is good. Um, they're you know having a mix of biomes to look through. Uh, it's actually a good thing. I found um, a lot of hidden stuff in jungles. People love jungles. I don't know why. And uh, yeah, I think we will have to end it there. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Uh, I hope this was a pretty good video for you guys. And if you did like it, uh, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will be doing a lot of these and uh, hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.